Welcome everyone to this uh, live stream. So in this live stream, I'm going to uh, talk about the text masking effect. So we are going to talk about how I did this and also how to create some hi highlights like this. Uh, this is really a uh, very easy, easy um, artwork or graphic to do because it's just a matter of power clip using power clip for this text and also some duplication you know the plus sign your keyboard to duplicate without an offset so that's what we're gonna we're gonna do okay so I'm gonna move it here on the left side and then I'm going to get the um, I'm gonna hit F4 to zoom all and I'm going to just put it side by side so the first thing I did here, obviously, is to type the word gifted, right? So I'm just going to type uh, gifted, G-I-F-T-E-N-D. And then I think the font that I use here is, um, is a square. And I'm going to make it bigger and then I'm just going to make it white. And then just to make it center, I just go to center justification. And you notice that there is no there's no spacing between the um the letters. So I go to my shape tool and then just drag this one going up until it you know it's very close to each other. And then now I can just, you know, make it bigger like this. All right, like this. Okay, so now we are going to, the most important thing here is you have to uh, duplicate it without an offset, uh, this image, because we're going to power clip it. Okay, so, so first we are going to uh, plus sign your keyboard, select this and plus sign your keyboard and then so you have two objects there now on top of each, of, each, of each other and then you go to objects and then power clip and then place inside the frame and the frame is this letter G that, I mean the the word gifted right so click on that and if you notice you can even see the text right so if I move this outside so basically that's just a duplicate of this image but inside the text okay control Z to undo so what we're gonna do is we're just going to add some add a thickness to the outline so we double click on this this icon here and then let's say we are going to let's make that white and then the thickness would be say um, 20 you can take a look here I also want to show you the difference between uh, this is very important this behind fill and scale with objects so right now the outline goes inside so if you take a look at my original one here uh, it looks different right right but if you click on behind fill that will give you a um, uh, a different look right so I'm just going to and then scale with object means to say if I shrink this down uh, the scale of the outline would also change okay I'm just gonna click OK here and you notice that we don't have this line here so what we're gonna do is we're just going to add more spacing until that shows up okay okay so um, now what we're gonna do is actually sorry unfortunately we have to do it again I'm gonna do it again because you know the letter D here is not complete so what we're gonna do we're gonna do that again sorry about that that's because um, we didn't fix the the uh, the text gifted so G I F T E and D Okay, so we uh, we chose square, and 
then we so we want to make sure before we power clip we want to make sure that the text is all you know all all right like the spacing is all right so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to i'm going to make sure that it i'm going to put outline now so i'm just going to make it bigger and uh, and move it here somewhere here right okay somewhere there and then i'm going to put an outline now just to make sure that it's I'll make this white and I think I made this 20 pixels and then behind fill and then scale with objects okay so that's perfect so the uh, you know the G and the I uh, it shows up that it's separated and then, and then I'm gonna click OK so now I'm gonna click on the photograph and then plus sign your keyboard and then go to object power clip place inside a frame and then the frame would be this one okay so now basically those are your uh, power clipped already so now uh, let's look at this one here so this one so we're gonna move this over here so um, uh, another way to move that is we are going to use the shape tool because in the shape tool if I highlight this two, okay, two nodes, I can drag it over to the left. So it's like cropping, but it's actually not cropping because, because it's just like a temporary cropping. Because say, for example, I wanna use it again, I can just drag this again and it will reveal the, the rest of the, um, the image. Okay. So I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm just going to go to my reference here. So if you go to the reference here, so I move this down too. So I click on my shape tool again, and then I'm going to bring it down somewhere there. And then here, I'm also going to bring it up somewhere there. And then, um, so you notice this one, this is, this is okay, okay. Well, when you go to the letter D, it's a cutout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click here. So basically I'm just adding nodes, right? And double click here too. And then move this like that. Okay. So that when we put another color here, uh, this one will, would be that color. So actually we can add that color now. So I'm just going to make sure that you are you are snapped to object, right? So I'm going to go here to the edge, click and drag, say like that. And then I'm going to move this one and then make sure to click on the edge again. And then what I'll do, I'm just going to go to my eyedropper tool select that color and then just put it there and of course i'm going to put this to back of the page so object order to back of page okay so this one so so this uh if you look at this one i'm just gonna drag this over so that's another um another object with with a color and then it has transparency Control Z. So what I did there, I just created another square here. I mean, another rectangle like this. Okay, somewhere there. And then I colored it this color. Just gonna fill that. And then right mouse click here to remove the outline. And then I'm going to go to my transparency tool, and I'm just gonna click and drag, going to the right side. So it reveals a little bit of the image. And then I just type this in. I mean, I just create this text here. I'm just gonna duplicate it to save time. Now, of course, I'm gonna put that to front, to front of page. Now, if you notice, um, there's like a black 
uh, drop shadow, hard drop shadow. So that's really easy to do. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do it. So you go plus sign your keyboard, right? And just move it, offset it a little bit. And then make that black. But you want to make the white to front, right? So you click on the white and then go to order to front of page. Okay. So I think the last effect that I'm going to do is this one here. So I'm not sure if that's a new if that's a new feature in the new version, but there is a there is a thing called um, impact tool. So the impact tool is when you click and drag, let's say like that, it creates a, it's like a starburst and I'm gonna make that white. And then if you go to the starburst here, you can actually uh, choose some options here. Like for example, this one, okay. I'll just use this one. I think that one's better. And then now, I also noticed that you have this 85%. This is what you call this wildest point. So if you drag this in, going inside, it makes a radiant effect. So I'm just going to make it like that. And then, uh, so I'll move it here. And you can also make it smaller if you want. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Now, once you make it really small, it looks like it's a highlight, which is a nice effect because it looks like um, it looks real, like there's a shining a thing there. And I also want to put one over in this side. And if you want to power clip this, it's fine too because if you go to view wireframe, uh, the white is out, right? So if you go, if you want to power clip that, so you go to objects, power clip, place inside a frame, and the frame is this one here. Okay, so when you go to view and then wireframe, it's not there anymore. Okay, so I, I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you, you learned something, and. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you subscribe, uh, uh, please turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified. I think I for sorry I forgot to do something here. Let's put the drop shadow here. Click on drop shadow, and uh, click and drag. That. And. So th thank you, everybody. Um, I will see you tomorrow, and bye for now.